Alright, hi everybody and welcome to another video. I'm finally back out again after a, a bit of short time off. Um, I'll explain later on in the video why that's been. But yeah, uh, I'm going to be hammock camping tonight again and as you can see it's, it's raining and this rain has been forecast to stay until around about 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. Uh, it's been going since about 10 this morning as well, so about 24 hours of rain. So uh, yeah, let's uh, get set up. I'll see you in a sec. Right, well, I finally got set up. Um, as you can see there, this is my bespoke hammock set up. Uh, I still need to do a full video on this to show you exactly what I've done. There are a number of uh, good little tweaks on this one. I really do like it. Um, we have the uh, bespoke hammock underneath the snug pack or weather shelter G2. Uh, and on the far end, if you can see on camera or not, but my rucksack is just hanging in the Caribbean at the far end. Um, this hammock does have like a a gear sling underneath and I've sort of fallen out a little bit because it gets a bit a bit knotty, it's a string hammock uh, so what I've done is I'm going to change this out today uh, for a snug pack tropical hammock that I've had in the garden for when I'm just chilling at home so yeah I'm going to stick that underneath where the uh, string hammock is and I'll take you inside and show you yeah this is uh, my other spoke hammock uh, it doesn't only have a bug net on but as you can see I've taken it off and stored that in the pocket right at the very uh, foot end just there so yeah moving down you can see my undercoat's attached up there via a little cam snap and then from this point here stitched on I found that if I stitched all the way up uh, it tended to sort of want to rip and pull away so hence this little bit of sag and then a little bit of distance just sort of coming back in from the cam snap there then on here we've got the DIY uh, phone holder that I reverse engineered from a, a car one little ridge line organiser, little lantern and going down all the little hang hanging points there for the hammock but yeah underneath you can see the other quilt stitched in and the top quilt stitched in as well from this point here so from there uh, it's stitching in going down to the foot box at the bottom which I just slip over my line and the foot box is stitched in from that point there going round see it's coming away a little bit there it's probably me kicking my feet in like but yeah that's uh 
top quilt inside this is my new pillow I normally have uh, a soft pillow when I'm out camping but I do have a, a firm pillow at home so I bought a firm pillow today but it's a little bit on the bulky side as you can see from my hand there uh, but I think it's probably going to give me a, a more comfortable night's sleep. Then this is the uh, new sleep suit. So this is just a zip up down hooded jacket. Uh, I picked up from Amazon. And then some similar down pants uh, as well. And then in the pocket of the jacket I've got the Sundisk or Sundick uh, insulated boots. So yeah that's uh, the sleep set up tonight. I'll just show you a little bit more on the hammock while I'm here. So from this point here, you can see we've got a guy line going down, that just widened up your hammock on both sides. We have took the bug net down, don't need it tonight. Um, and then at this bottom end here, you can see you're all cam snapped here, so you can throw a sleeping pad or some stuff sacks or whatever you want in there just to sort of get them off the ground and add a little bit of insulation in colder months. Not got a sleep pad with me tonight. But I have bought a new one, so look out for that one coming. Right, well, now we're all set up. Uh, I'm going to make myself a quick lunchtime sandwich. A bit late lunch, right? But never mind that. Um, and I'll tell you why I've been uh, missing from your screens. Um, so basically, back in October, I've, I've told you all that. Um, my dad, um, my father-in-law, who I've called dad for uh, 16 years or so, uh, was ill in October with Covid and got out for his wedding vow renewal um, and then went back in and he's, he's just not been right since. Well, Unfortunately, he's succumbed to his illnesses and he's passed away. Um, and it's hit the family really hard. Um, mother in law, wife, kids, we've all just sit us all in different ways. It's just been a bit of a, a sad time, to be honest. Um, yeah, he's, he passed away after a few days battle on the um, ICU. And yeah, so that's why I've been missing. He's been poorly a while, and um, we've all just sort of been there for each other and trying to battle through it. Um, so yeah, that's that. And I'll see you in a minute.
not bad for a puppy on, is it? So yeah, um, I'm not going to apologise, but yeah, I'm just going to mention again about my dad. Um, and sorry for getting a bit upset. But as I said, it's a bit raw still. Um, so, camping's always sort of been my therapy, and my wife understands that, thankfully. So she asked me if I were going camping this weekend. Yeah, just to try and maybe sort my head out a little bit, to be honest. Um, my wife got her ways, I've got my ways of dealing with things. One of my ways is coming out camping, so yeah, she's a. Uh, I'll have me come out. Um, I'll try and leave like, a little bit of a tribute to him towards the end of the video, but he was an absolute legend, my father-in-law. Um, I wrote a post on Facebook saying the man, the myth, the legend, and that's exactly him in a nutshell. He could spin a tail, uh, you know, like most of us can, but I used to hang on every word when he was telling me tales of old, and yeah, just. An absolute peach of a guy, and you know we're getting a lot of messages of condolence and a lot of messages of saying how what a brilliant guy you are, and just goes to show that it is true. Reaching far and wide, so yeah, thank you. Uh, if you have messaged and you do know about it, thank you so much. Uh, support from Dan has been phenomenal. He's uh, me nearly every day. I'm not always answered because I'm not being have with my phone or whatever, but um, uh, Matt of Matt's Mindful Meals, he's uh, messaged and giving me a bit of support as well, so thank you for that. But yeah, I'm uh, going to eat this, I'm going to go join Dan, eat this, and I'll see you soon. It's dropping dark a little bit now, so we uh, start to tidy up. Those of you that are interested, this is my uh, personalised knife from York Knife. Absolute beastly bit of goodness. Uh, I've arranged to go in a couple of months and see Luke who made it. Um, Give it a tickle sharpening and do one of his knife sharpening courses in there. Hopefully get that on video so we'll uh, see how that turns out in the future. Now I'm going to tidy away all my uh, cooking bits and bobs that I've had out now. With my tongs, I'll give them a quick wipe. Um, I'm going to chill out in the hammock for a bit to be honest. Hands over yonder. In fact, he's back now. I'm getting some water. All right, mate. Um, yeah, I'm going to chill out in hammock for an hour or two. See what crack is then. Mm, definitely not time for that. Got myself uh, a curry to make later on as well, so that should be uh, quite interesting. Move the pan out as it is, put the kindling to get the fire going again. Heating up my uh, ferro rod, as you saw the light in the video with the uh, light in the fire with the bushcraft fire lighters. Again, most of the gear that I use, I'll leave links to. That's the, uh, the beastly ferro rod I've got. I've uh, got some leather to make some sheaves. I'm going to make one for my backhoe lap and I'm going to make one for this. I'm going to make one for the multi tool. I've got some good plans to make for some things making with uh, leather, so stick around and see them. Uh, but yeah, for now, get this all tidy away, squared away, and I'll see you in a minute. 
It is literally five o'clock tea time. Uh, the rain's been constant, heavy. Wind's picked up a little bit now as well, so uh, it's time to chill out for a couple of hours, I think. The Spurs play at eight. It's about five o'clock now. Uh, so I'll hopefully get my tea cup just before eight o'clock. And then I can sit eating my tea, drinking a beer, watching the uh, feeble Spurs, I mean the mighty Spurs play. Oh, great. See you in an hour or two. Well, I've just been having a look while I fought on because I could see my pillow in the last little shot uh, to see what it was. It's called Alcanto. Uh, again, I'll leave a link to it. Um, I bought it from Amazon. About 27 quid, but very, very comfortable. Uh, it doesn't pack down very uh, much. It's not very lightweight, but if you want a good firm pillow, this is a, a good little option for you. Uh, the pants that are on about in my sleeves are really to piss me or something. Again, uh, I'll leave a link to like the full sleep scene on this. And, uh, yeah, for now I'm gonna edit. I'm uh, gonna go watch someone on telly, chill out for an hour or two. And I'll see you soon. I don't know how well you can hear the rain on the tap, but it's just been absolutely relentless. And uh, I didn't realise when I first laid in the hammock. Bottom of my trousers were wet, so I've now donned the uh, sleep suit to try and uh, get myself all warmed up and everything. So, uh, still only about quarter past six, so it's going to be a long wet night in this hammock. Uh, only what I'm used to though, it's not the first time I've done this, is it? It's not my first rodeo, so to speak. But yeah, I've uh, just been shopping as well. I've uh, Daniel bought me this a couple of Christmases ago and I've uh, worn it a few times but I've got one to match the sleep suit that I've just found as well so again I'll leave a link to that uh, £31 I think it was but an insulated down hood might look uh, a bit of a numpty in it but I'll be a lot warmer water so uh, we'll be laughing in the morning <laughs> right well let's say it's about quarter past six uh, still got about an hour and a half before football kicks off so I'll see uh, what's occurring and I might even have a, a tipple or two Right, I come to get out of my hammock and uh, come and see Dan, the English woodsman. <laughs> He's a blanker, isn't he? He's always touching me. <laughs> but yeah, so we've uh, snuggled up in his tent for sort of 10, 15 minutes or so. Uh, just having a quick chat and then uh, I'm going to head back to my hammock shortly and watch the football. But yeah, he's in his... is this the coyote? Coyote free. He's OEX Coyote free, and as you can see, it's quite roomy. It's fantastic. And then the porch out there as well. See if I can get the light on the uh, thing. You got a light? A light, I had that smart. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Roomy out there, obviously, he's filming standing. It's a bit of a shit. Bits and bobs. Yeah. But yeah, this is his, uh, his humble abode for the night. And it's amazing. <laughs> see you in a bit. Well, I've been laid with Dan for about an hour and a half or so in his tent. Uh, finally came across back to my hammock and watched the end of Tottenham versus Brighton. Uh, and Spurs got uh, a good win. 3-1, so that'll do. Um, I've been watching Ash Outdoors go live 
in on Instagram. Uh, I'm not giving him a shout out for a while, but we were sort of on a par right at the start of YouTube. I think we started YouTube at very similar times, and it was like tit for tat, tit for tat, and we were sort of on a level for a while, and now he's just boomed, absolutely boomed. Um, really, really good channel, really, really down to earth guy, just absolutely awesome. Um, so yeah, go and check out Ash Outdoors on that. Flick him some up here for you now. But I'm recording the audio at the minute through uh, some new headphones that I've picked up. Can you see them? Gravastar Sirius Pros. Apparently some gaming headphones so they record audio at the same time but I've been obviously listening to the Spurs through them as well so quite good audio. Um, cost me a bit of money to be honest because I got them through the uh, like crowdfunding type thing that they did but I got them because they look cool <laughs> but yeah anyway um, it's coming up what 10 o'clock is now so I'm not even bothering with my curry the steak sandwich was uh, more than enough for me so you can hear the wind and the rain still so I'm going to try and get some sleep and uh, see in the morning got a, a tiny bit more footage of the sounds of the rain hopefully you can pick it up because obviously I've still got my earpiece in so hopefully it'll pick it up on there but it's uh, really starting to come down now uh, but I think I've set the tarp up in just about the right direction they can't feel any wind at all sort of bellowing through uh, I'm not getting any sort of splashback from top and bottom so I think I've got the tarp set up just at the right angle, I think the rain might be coming uh, side on. Um, so yeah, I'm not feeling anything at all, so hopefully I'll get a, a good comfortable night's sleep. So speaking of which, it's coming up quarter to 11, I'll see you in the morning. Well, good morning, it is 5 o'clock. I've slept pretty well considering the wind and rain have been coming all night long. Yeah. Oh, no, I'm not wearing an eyeline rash before you ask. <laughs> oh. But yeah, I've slept pretty well. You can probably still hear a little bit of the wind, you can still hear the rain. It's eased but not stopped. But I've woke up because I need to pee at five o'clock. So I'm gonna have a tinkle and I'm gonna get my head back down I think. Oh, just because I can. <laughs> right, I'll see you in a minute. I think I uh, spoke too soon and the rain is in up a little bit. It keeps coming in waves now. Um, still at half an hour five, so I've got about another hour's sleep if I can. Um, and then it's time I stop drop and roll as usual, so I'll see you in a bit. Well, we've got a break in the weather, so I'm going to get up, but look at that, my pan's full. My uh, pegging system's held out well. So this is from my uh, ultimate tap setup. Literally, I've got a guy in every tie out point. So we've got what six pegs on there. Possibility of another four. And that's held up really well through all this wind and rain. But while we've got a break in the rain, I'm going to get up and pack away.
another video so thanks very much for watching if you've watched this far uh, if you've not already please consider subscribing to the channel by pressing these in the middle here and leave some videos either side for you but again thanks very much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one